TIFU by roaring at my daughter. This happened yesterday, and reoccurred today, and potentially might be an ongoing issue. Whilst putting my daughter to sleep last night, she roared at me so I, naturally, roared back at her, which she found hilarious. So this continued for a little bit but then, she enjoyed it so much so that she wouldn't go to sleep for another hour after that. So we come to tonight where, as you can probably guess, whilst I was getting her to sleep, she again roared at me, several times, I refrained from doing it back and had to stifle my giggles. But to no avail as she then started laughing to herself, and wouldn't go to sleep, she's now finally asleep but I'm just hoping this doesn't become a nightly occurrence. TL, dear, I think I've now created a sleepy baby dinosaur. The novelty will wear off eventually, or become normal. My 25-year-old son and I still make velociraptor noises at each other sometimes. How dare you give me baby fever in this economy? I told my daughter birds aren't real one time to irritate my wife and now every time she hears one, she yells it's not real daddy, I am still in trouble. Keep roaring, you'll be happy you did. Take it from a 51M with three adult kids. Some things are priceless, and you won't realize it until later. Bad news op. I am 28 and I still make stupid roaring noises when I see my parents. It just gets locked into some odd connective communication that replaces a, hey, or, what are you doing? Didn't expect something this cute smiley face. The Stoics say you should treat every night with your children like it may be the last have fun. Roaring at each other. Keep roaring at her dude. Forever. When she is older you can trot it out sometimes and you'll remember together trust me. In 10 years and longer from now. These are the things that stay with you. Me and my 8 year old stepdaughter hiss when something is wrong or bad. I get the blame for teaching her that one. Rar. It means, I love you, in dinosaur. Could be a lot worse you could have sworn and cussed and started a nightly gutter mouthed monster. Grimace. Good night, sleepy monster. Quote. Turn it into a wind down instead of a wind up. But also not a power struggle. You've got this. Put her to bed earlier and make this part of her bedtime routine. Laughing face. My 20-month-old loves to go R-A-A-A-A-W-R. Bear says R-A-A-A-A-A-W-R. Lion says R-A-A-A-A-A-A-W-R. Then today she said with the same tone and intensity. Sheep says Ba. Do the roar. Today mine, scared me with a noisemaker. So, that's my life forever now. Those habits never last. Keep roaring with her while she lets you. Time will come where she won't anymore. And as weird as it sounds you'll miss em. Hashtag I love this TIFU more than I have loved any TIFU ever in all my years here. I'm sorry not sorry. Caps lock was required. Thank you for the best TIFU ever. Just change up the animal noises every night, and slowly substitute quieter and quieter animals. Try whisper roaring? Twice as funny but maybe not as adrenaline-y? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.